Super excited. I told you last when I built a box that I'm waiting on a CM800 to arrive in the mail. It hasn't arrived, but somebody met me yesterday and lent me this one. Thank you, Ori. So, my task for today will be to join all these parts together. We got an ESP32. Uh, the CM800 is gonna needs to run between 3.4 and 4.4 volt. So I got a DC to DC step down here. And I'm probably gonna set it up to run 3.7 or 4. Now, since this run Logic 3.3, and this will be way more, we got a Logic level converter to protect the 32 and to make sure that the CM800 will hear it. I'm pretty sure that the uh, TX that way will work, but then the TX that way might damage the 32. So we got a Logic level converter for that. I got a, a, a breakout of a mini US, sorry, a micro USB, and the reason for this is that will have a power, will have five volt, and then I can feed the DC DC uh, step down and feed the SIM 800. So my first task for today is get all of this on the breadboard working, at least responding to a, a basic AT on the SIM 800. Let's get to work. My first task will be to solder some pins to this and to the edges of that and then get them all set up on the breadboard. Let's go do that. Okay. This footage is actually a day later from the previous one and the reason for that is from some odd reason I was just sure without any doubt that I'm holding a step down while I was actually holding a step up. This is a step down that I went yesterday to offer, thanks, and got myself a step down. Um, so now I need to solder pins to that, I already soldered pins to this and get it all set up, at least electricity to get I don't know, 3.7 I'll guess. Step one done. We got 3.99 to force jumping a little bit. Um, from the step down, this is connected to USB socket. So now let's put the rest of the things on the breadboard. Okay, step two is complete. Everyone is on the board and blinking happily. Next step, let's connect the ESP to the computer and throw some code and see if we can get an AT command out of the SIM 800. I'm using Serial 2 for the SIM 800 and the code I wrote just basically echoes one serial to the other. So if I'll go here and type AT, as you can see I got the AT and the OK response from the SIM 800. In order to check if the system is actually working, I took the code that I was using for the Mega and altered it a little bit so I can use it with the ESP32. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other phone to call this, the other DIY phone to call this DIY phone to show you that I'm actually able to get a phone call. As you can see, I'm getting an incoming number. I've masked the number and um, yeah, it works well. After the successful test of the actual hardware, my next step will be to connect everything back together. One of the things I really want to do is connect this to the SIM 900, I'm not, uh, SIM 800. I'm not sure I'll be able to, but I'm gonna try. We have to bring the dial back into its place and use it. And I wanna incorporate the switch as well. So when you lift it up, the phone will be ready and you can hang up a call as well. So if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, leave a comment and see you next time.